What is up my viewers, Spang here bringing you another World of Tanks gameplay commentary, this time in my M103, it is a good tank, uh, GW Panther on the enemy team, telling him, us uh, time to rain down some mean turds, I, I say rain down some pain, cause it rhymes, anyway, so as you can see, uh, this is the new assault game type, uh, new-ish, I suppose, 7.4 has been out for a little while now, and yeah, the T95 on the enemy team is a cause for concern. <laughs> but we do have artillery, so not too large of a concern. That is perhaps the best way to take on the T95 is either with a very, very fast moving tank, probably a French tank, or with artillery. Um, I prefer the artillery approach. Anyway, so this is on Erlenberg. And as you can see, we either have to kill the enemy team or take their outpost to the north. So, I, this is a favorite strategy of mine on this map, at least on this game type, is to just rush across the south, go east, and then rush up north. Because that way you have this hill providing cover, um, especially if you have good frontal armor like the M103 does, it can work rather well in your favor. Um, the enemy team, I mean, like I said, this... This is a favorite strategy of mine, basically because it provides you cover, and not only that, you once you clear out this east, uh, yeah, this east side, you can basically just go up on the hill and fire down on their base. Anything that's trying to protect their base, you can provide cover for your team rushing the base. Um, really, it is perhaps the best option, but you can't ignore the west side because if you do, the enemy team will more or less just roll right over you. So right here we see some things on their team, uh, I pretty much spotted the 1390 and an EZ8 over here, not too concerned about those tanks, uh, I believe I did lock my target onto him so I just fired on the move with auto targeting going and disengaged right there. So as you can see we have a few things in the town, like I said they're pushing west a little, you never want to leave that completely exposed. EZ8 gonna take a good solid hit from me, he can't take another hit like that. T25 slash 2 is a 2 shot, that 1390 is most likely a 3 shot, easy 8 getting taken out. So far nothing on this side is quite capable of handling me, not even that easy 8 is a, uh, not easy 8, that IS-8, too many 8s is a point of, uh, very little concern, you know, I'm not that concerned that much is going to be done to me, this hill providing me some cover from artillery, but I still don't want to stand still for too long, must you know, unless I tempt RT. So, right there, artillery on the enemy team getting spotted. I would love it if our artillery would kill that. A lot of our team going to the west. But we do have a push now coming up to support me. I was more or less pushing this by myself. But as the top tier tank in a match with only two tier 9s per team, it wasn't really that concerning. Um, I just don't want to go around that corner where artillery will have better shots on me and where things on that hill like that 1390 will have side shots on me. I'm utilizing my front armor and basically making it very hard for the enemy team to kill me. Now I knew there was another tank over there and now I know what it is. It is a KV-1S. Um, definitely something that can do a considerable amount of damage to me even though he only has 175 penetration. That he does have 390 damage, a Yogg Panzer IV, as you can see the enemy team just bulking up so much of their tanks on this side, I'm gonna fire where that Yogg Panzer was, if I'm correct I do hit him, but someone else gets the kill, being, that someone else being artillery, 3002 DB going around that corner and getting himself killed, the same reason I don't exactly want to go around that corner, the enemy team still has both artillery, that T95 is near the center bridge currently. So, very far away from me. Apparently a T-34 was over there as well, but no one can get through my front armor. Just because the T, uh, the M-103, I was going to say the T-110, they are both very similar in playstyle. You basically you face your frontal armor towards them, and they work really well at range, just because they have such accurate guns. So, at this point, you know, our team winning by a considerable margin. 9 to 3, I've got 3 of those 9 kills. KV-4, bouncing a shell off him because I hit his turret wrong. KV-4s did get a bit of a buff in 7.4. Uh, basically, they are pretty well armored. You don't really want to take them on in terms of a long range engagement because that armor will be more effective. But ISA just letting me get through his armor. 
KV1S showing himself bouncing another shot off me. I'm just bouncing shells left and right at this point. If you haven't guessed, I will get Steel Wall. KV1S taking a shot at him. Not sure if I really got him, but I'm betting I hurt him more likely than not. And the IS-8 still coming right at me. Apparently he has a death wish or he just wants to get a good shot off on me. He's turning his turret to basically see what just shot him over there or maybe he was... I don't know what he's doing facing his turret that way, but either way, he's going to die. So KV-4 getting shot by something. I'm not quite sure what. Again, bouncing another shot. KV-4 taking another nice solid hit from me. Well, I shouldn't say another nice solid hit. The first one bounced. So artillery raining in death, and I will try to get the final kill. He knocks out my viewport, but I more than make him pay for it with his life. So there we go, 15 and 5. Uh, I got five of our team's kills, so basically a third of our team's kills go to me. Yeah, I did hit that Yogg Panzer IV, and I did hit that KV-1S. So, basically doing very well for myself. Firing 18 shots, 16 hit the target. Yeah, one of those bounced. Uh, maybe two of those bounced. I can't recall quite, but it's not important. The important thing is, think about that. 16 shots at an average of 400 damage, that's a lot of damage dealt. So basically, bringing it to the enemy team, and with these assault battles, it really is how you approach the enemy base, um, and it's typically smart to have the majority of your forces go one way and have one strong, solid push. Anyway, uh, doing very well for XP and credits right there. Battle Heroes, if you haven't guessed, Sniper and Steel Wall, when you hit 16 out of 18 shots, it's just gonna happen. Anyway, if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you have a replay, send it to spangoreplays at gmail.com. As per usual, the link will be in the description. And <laughs> come on, guys. Send me something to commentate. I uh, kid. I have plenty of videos. And anyway, this has been Spang. And I am signing off.